Hello, my name is Tom Holboyne and I'm a graduate student in the Astronomy Department at The Ohio State University. I'm also a member of the All Sky Automated Survey for Supernovae, or Assassin, and today I'm going to tell you about our new paper titled The Assassin Bright Supernova Catalog 2, 2015. This is the second of a yearly series of papers on bright supernovae and their hosts that will be published by the Assassin team, and it collects information for all supernovae discovered by Assassin in 2015 and their host galaxies. As we did with the previous catalog, we collect the same information for all supernovae with peak magnitude of 17 or brighter that were discovered by other supernova searches in the same year. For more details on the information we collect and the sources of the data, please see the paper or the video for our first catalog, which is linked in the description below. As we did for our first catalog, we performed some simple analyses on the data that we gathered. To keep our samples consistent, these analyses include only those supernovae discovered after May 1, 2014, when Assassin became operational in the Southern Hemisphere. This figure shows a breakdown by type of the Assassin discoveries, the supernovae discovered by other observers, and the entire supernova sample for 2014 and 2015. The Assassin sample very closely resembles an ideal magnitude limited sample predicted by Lee et al. from the LOST dataset. The difference between the Assassin sample and the supernovae discovered by other observers can be seen clearly when looking at their host galaxies and their offsets from the host nucleus. This plot shows the host galaxy KS band magnitude and offset from host nucleus for all supernovae in the combined sample. Here, red stars represent Assassin discoveries, blue squares represent discoveries by other professional surveys, and black circles represent discoveries made by amateur observers. The corresponding lines represent the median offsets and magnitudes. While all professional surveys discover supernovae in less luminous hosts than amateurs, Assassin clearly is less biased than other professional surveys and amateurs with regards to sources located near to the host galaxy nucleus. Assassin's impact can also be seen when examining the number of supernovae discovered per month in 2013, 2014, and 2015. In this histogram, red represents Assassin discoveries, green represents supernovae discovered by other groups but recovered in Assassin data, and blue represents supernovae discovered by other groups that are not recovered in our data. Since Assassin became operational in both hemispheres in May 2014, Assassin has discovered or recovered at least half of all bright supernovae in every month and the average number of supernova discoveries has increased from 13 to 21. This implies that Assassin is finding supernovae that wouldn't be found otherwise. Assassin discoveries also stand out in terms of their locations. Here we show a cumulative normalized histogram of supernovae with respect to the sign of the declination. The green dashed line represents what would be expected if supernovae were discovered at all declinations equally. Supernovae discovered by other sources, the blue line, are biased towards the northern hemisphere, while the red assassin sample corrects this trend. This causes the combined sample, shown in black, to track the expectation closely. Finally, this figure shows a cumulative histogram of supernovae discovered at different peak magnitudes in our full sample. The red line represents only assassin discoveries, the blue line represents assassin discoveries and supernovae recovered by assassin, and the black line represents all supernovae in the sample. The magenta dashed line shows the expected number of supernovae in a Euclidean universe, while the green dashed line shows a broken power law with a Euclidean slope below the bright magnitude and a variable slope for fainter magnitudes. The power law fit shows that our sample is complete to a magnitude of roughly 16.3, and roughly two-thirds of supernovae brighter than 17th magnitude are being found. The analyses presented in this paper again highlight the major impact that Assassin is having on the discovery of bright supernovae. It remains the only professional project to provide a complete, rapid cadence survey of the nearby universe, and it operates in a region of parameter space that is largely only monitored by amateur astronomers who target bright nearby galaxies for their searches. It is our hope that by collecting the data in these catalogs, we will provide convenient repositories that will allow for new and interesting population studies of nearby supernovae and their hosts. For more information about this work, please see our paper which is posted on the archive. Thanks for watching.